welcome to this lesson dear students uh, i am going to discuss <coughs> one questions of this time advanced level english literature paper that was held last month you know uh, now i am discussing one question in part 1 short questions they are every year you are given comment briefly on one of the following passages explain its significance to the play from which it is taken very first one a is like this you make it seem like we were set in a trap all pretty girls are trap a pretty trap and men expect them to be now look at yourself young lady this is the prettiest you will ever be are you got to fix myself now you are going to be surprised by your mother's appearance right now those who have studied the syllabus definitely know that this is an extract taken from the glass menagerie by tennessee williams which is a modern american play now uh, when you write the answer you have to mention that first from where which is taken in this extract has been taken from the modern american play glass menagerie uh, by tennessee williams and you uh, you are expected to give us write two three lines uh, description about the play uh, in the play the glass menagerie tennessee williams right describes the background story of the slavery society working class society in america especially in towns like yes chicago and st louis st louis is the setting for the play and then after that you can say who tells these words to whom nay these are the words uttered by amanda wingfield to her daughter laura wingfield on the occasion you know that what is occasion it the occasion of a gentleman caller arriving at their place nay they live in a small hut called wingfield apartment right uh, i didn't discuss in a video the play i will do but uh, as a uh, beginning point i decided to take this part so these are the words uttered by amanda amanda is a dedicated mother though she is an american woman she is dedicated mother because from the point of her husband departing her right uh she took effort to bring up two children tom and laura her only that mean amanda's only occupation in his life is brightening her children's future she always wishes that so this is the moment of expecting that gentleman caller later we know that gentleman caller would be jim mocona the working class man that mean he is also working in warehouse with tom now here mother is inspired by the news of arriving a gentleman caller for her daughter daughter there's one thing her only concern is daughter son she always says son may right do something he's a boy already he's working mm. tom is the breadwinner of the family right they all depend on tom amanda being a mother is worried about daughter due to uh, various things one is she is unemployed other thing unmarried other thing there is a bit deformity in her leg laura's leg is braced so she always fears that laura may not find a husband other thing laura is extremely shy right extremely shy girl she fears face in the society she has a hesitation doubt for example now amanda found some money very difficultly to pay her tuition fees at rubicon business school business college you remember uh tom's salary is not sufficient for that therefore she worked as a 
Brazil demonstrated in a textile shop called Famous Bar in order to collect what money that she needs to pay Laura's tuition fee. Thus she paid and enrolled Laura in the Rubicon Business School to learn typewriting and portent, but Laura failed in it. Without going to business school, she wasted time in zoo, film hall and other gardens. So now she is worried her only, uh, mother's only occupation is arranging marriage for her. She fears that daughter will remain a sinister because sinisters and sisters-in-law will have to eat the leak always, be subordinate and inferior to the in-laws. So you have to mention these words are uttered by Amanda Wingfield to her daughter Laura on the occasion of a gentleman caller arriving at their poor setting, the Wingfield department situated in working class society, labouring class society in St. Louis. They are expecting a gentleman caller who would be Jim O'Connor later, who is one of the colleagues of Tom. Since uh, Laura avoided her studies at Rubicon Business School, Amanda is concerned with her marriage. Thus she asked Tom to bring a young boy from working place to introduce to this girl as she is extremely shy. Thus he brings Jim Mokonan. On that occasion, Amanda has taken a loan from her society, DAR meeting, Daughters of American Revolution, and made some arrangement in the house with some portiers uh, like that, but not a big arrangement. And, but uh, she couldn't uh, buy a frock for herself, neither for daughter, not herself, right? Therefore, she takes a very old frock from her cupboard and gives it to Laura to wear. Here, and we feel sad about uh, your situation as a mother because being a mother, she is so worried that she can't give a new glittering dress for her daughter on the occasion of arriving a gentleman caller. Amanda is a lady who adjusts herself into any occasion. They are impecunious, poverty-stricken, they are helpless, they have nothing except Tom, so that now she has made up her mind to give Laura an old dress that she wore in her girlhood. In her girlhood she had been rich when she was in Blue Mountain, but now she is poor. We don't know how she, her uh, economical situation collapsed like that. Now, she has no other option. That's why she says that uh, uh, you are going to be surprised by your mother's appearance. Mother also wants to wear. Amanda is a lady who repents over her previous follies. She always recalls her past, recollects the beautiful memories, sweet memories of her girlhood. And now comparing her girlhood then, her daughter's girlhood, now she is worried, but she seems to be happy on the occasion. Right. Uh, in future, I will give you more ideas to write. I will dictate answers like that, okay? We will meet in a new lesson. Have a nice day.